All right, let's talk a little bit about what's happening now before we get into Florence. Just to tell you, it's 75 degrees outside. Everybody in the 70s except it's 67 in South Hill, Virginia. There is a front almost sitting right over us, and you can tell to the north it's in the 60s to around 70. To the south, it's still near 80. And with that front acting as a focusing mechanism, there's a few showers popping up. There's no thunder right now. That's some good news, but you see a few showers uh, near Clayton and also north of Kenley. These are drifting to the north. Same story around Sanford, down by Vass, and then up into 421 lane up maybe towards Siler City. Nothing in the triangle right now, although uh, near Clayton and as I mentioned southeast heading toward Nightdale, there could be a few showers. So plan on that overnight tonight. Now here's your Sunday plan. Three. That's the rays of sunshine with that front close to us. There'll be more clouds than sun. We'll have a few showers overnight and then we'll see a slight chance tomorrow morning and we'll build up a few more in the afternoon. Temperatures will start out around 70. Uh, if you're heading to church at 8 o'clock, 72, 78 at noon, and then the afternoon, not 90s, but 80s. I put the heat index in here because it's going to be humid, and we'll feel upper 80s. That'll be much better than the heat indexes we've had. So I've got 86 Sanford and Pinehurst, 88 Fort Bragg, 88 Fayetteville tomorrow, 87 in Benson, 86 in Wilson, 86 in Smithfield, 85 in Raleigh, 84 in Durham, and a little cooler, Roxborough 79, Henderson 80 degrees. All right, now you know the forecast. It'll get you through tomorrow. So you enjoy your day. Now, if the forecast holds from the National Hurricane Center, Florence will affect the Carolinas Thursday and Friday. That's an update from earlier today. It's looking to become a hurricane again at any time, even as I'm speaking now. But the 11 o'clock observation still has it as a tropical storm. And the five-day outlook has a storm Category 4 near our coast. Thursday night. We haven't seen something like that in a long, long time. So here's what Florence looks like right now. What's been happening is it was a strong hurricane, then it got ripped by the upper level winds. Those are weakening according to the Hurricane Center, so it's looking like it'll redevelop and intensify as it rides around a big ridge of high pressure that uh, is going to stay away from, uh, it's going to stay away from that ridge of high pressure, meaning it's forcing it towards us. By the way, new Tropical Storm Isaac today and Tropical Storm Helene. This one might go to the Caribbean. They're going to have to watch that. Helene hopefully stays out in the eastern Atlantic, but we're all watching Florence. So the computer models, unfortunately, five days out, oh boy, they look pretty, this is pretty close together for five days out. So we'll have to see if anything can change. But right now, the official track moving west at 6, 70 mile per hour, category 3 on Monday, Tuesday, category 4. And unfortunately, you can see right here, Thursday at 8 o'clock, this is as far as the Hurricane Center's forecasting right off our coast. If that category form holds that is stronger than Fran but it is weaker than Hazel if you want to put it in perspective Hazel had 140 mile an hour winds Fran about 119 20 when it came ashore if this comes ashore with 130 mile per hour winds that is really bad news for our coast but there is still that level of uncertainty it still could stay out to sea it could be still be first further to the south into Georgia. The winds, we don't have anything to worry about until we head into Wednesday and into Thursday when we might see tropical storm force winds come inland towards us if that storm follows that path. There's the front for us that's just hanging around and it's just going to stay here. So mostly cloudy skies. You see some showers and storms pop up again tomorrow and then we're going to see a few more on Monday. If this front was strong enough and there was high pressure at Arctic High coming down, that would definitely keep the storm out to sea. Unfortunately, that front is going to stop as a stationary front and weaken. So we've got a couple afternoon scattered showers and storms Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Wednesday, more of the same. And I put alert days for Thursday and Friday because if this forecast holds, it's definitely an alert day Thursday and Friday. We'll keep you posted on that because things hopefully will change.